Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of SD Locks SCP Readings. This is Shaggy Dreadlocks. Today we're going to be reading SCP-1639 The Jazz Station Item Number SCP-1639 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1639 is to be kept in a secure room of any reasonable size. All audio from SCP-1639 is to be recorded and submitted for analysis weekly. Should any researcher request SCP-1639 for testing, the request must be approved by Site Director Redacted. Description SCP-1639 is a Redacted Brand portable radio measuring 230 by 120 by 70 millimeters. The item's casing is red plastic and shows no signs of wear. SCP-1639 still bears its product ID and as such has been traced by Foundation operatives to the Redacted Factory in Surrey, UK. This model was produced between the years 1979 and 1982. A piece of red tape marks the long wave frequency Redacted. kilohertz on the frequency tuner. SCP-1639 exhibits no unusual properties when set to receive FM radio stations. However, when long wave radio is selected, SCP-1639 will receive a signal at Redacted. kilohertz, despite this frequency being reserved for aeronautical navigation aids. No radio station is known to have ever broadcast at this frequency, and other radio systems receive no transmission even when placed directly beside SCP-1639. The signal received is henceforth designated SCP-1639-1. The content of SCP-1639-1 is mainly in the form of jazz music, 93% of studied audio. The majority of the songs heard are pieces known to exist, though a fraction, approximately 4% of studied pieces, have been so far heard exclusively through SCP-1639. These pieces are markedly different utilizing fewer instruments and with lower sound quality. The remainder of the signal content is an individual, henceforth designated SCP-1639-2, speaking. SCP-1639-2 will usually appraise the pieces that have recently played on SCP-1639-1, though occasionally SCP-1639-2 will begin to discuss various topics, including jazz, poems written by itself, stories written by itself, firearms, first aid, and its current state of health. SCP-1639-1 is constantly transmitted, and SCP-1639-2's narration occurs at regular intervals regardless of time of day and SCP-1639-2's reported condition. Transcript number 1639-23 Extracts Beacon Log So that was Miles Davis and Blue and Green, ladies and gentlemen. A wonderful track. Just feel how smooth it is. It really brings memories back. I can just feel myself relaxing and calming down, reaching a kind of calmness deep inside me. Other genres of music are heard by the ears, but jazz is heard by the heart. I told you I'd give you an update on my condition. Well, it is getting worse, I'm afraid. 
It's like a drill in my chest, you know? Feels like it's drilling deep inside me. I, I don't know if I can take much more. Anything else I wanted to say? Oh yeah. I'm out of beans. I ran out of cans of beans this lunch, so now I'm down to the corn. <laughs> Not quite getting my balanced diet, am I? <laughs> uh. The potatoes are growing, so that's good. They should be ready soon. I'm wondering whether to kill one of the pigs. They're looking awfully thin. I tried one of those green tubers I mentioned yesterday, and it was bitter, but didn't taste too bad. I'll collect more at some point, after some more jazz. It took me 12 rounds to get to them, though, so I'll be out of magazines very soon. But now for some more jazz. Let those worries fade away. Transcript number 1639-29. Extracts. Beacon Log. Oscar Brown Jr. singing Brother Where Are You. I've always loved this one. It's a powerful song, you know. I can see the clouders moving around outside. I was going to go out and fetch some of the water, but I don't think I'll be able to now. I'll go and get some later. I should bring the pigs inside. They got all the pigs. Okay, this next track is Angel by Wes Montgomery. And that is it. Thank you all so much for watching, and do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me how you would run a radio station in the apocalypse. And if you check down in the description, I will have a link to this author's page so you can read more of their content. Until next time. <laughs>